Chung, and in this video you could call this System Admin 101, or maybe Computers 101, because what I'm going to teach you is a very basic skill, and that is how to mount a CD or DVD image file. So image files have been around for a long time, and they're uh, a favorite of people who pirate software and uh, other things, uh, but it first started off with gamers. See, in the old days, gamers had to put in a CD to run the game. So the game would check to see if you actually had a physical disc in the CD drive. So people didn't like that because their CDs get scratched or they lose them. So someone figured out how to make an image of the file, image of the CD, and then all you have to do is lug around the CD. Well, as you can imagine, this led to pirating and, and other stuff too. But in the IT world, you're going to need to know how to mount CDs because a lot of times you might not have an actual physical CD. And also, it's a lot quicker to slam a 600 meg or a couple gig file over the network rather than carrying around a CD. So what do you need to do? What kind of tools do you need to mount a CD image? Well, there's actually a free utility out there. It's called Daemon Tools. And you can get it at www.daemon-tools.cc. Or you can just Google for Daemon Tools and it will take you to the web page itself. So, okay, so you get to the Daemon Tools website. You're going to go to Downloads. And then you want the free version. The free version is Daemon Tools Lite. It's sort of near the bottom. And then you just download that. After you download it, go ahead and install it, and it's going to put an icon in the bottom right corner. Sort of looks like a circle with a lightning bolt. It's going to right click on that, and then you go to virtual devices, device, and you mount the image. Now this assumes that you have an image file somewhere, either you made it through a free program like BurnAware, or you've downloaded it off the internet. The common file extensions you'll see for disk images are .nrg, .iso, and .mds. Uh, there's a couple others out there, but those are the three main ones. Probably .iso would be the most common one. Okay, so assuming you have an image, I'm going to use a Microsoft Office 2007 image that I've made. We're going to go, once again, Daemon Tools, right-click, Virtual Devices, mount an image, so device zero, mount an image. Let's see, I've placed this on my desktop under the temp folder. You can see here Microsoft Office 2007. It's a 900, uh, looks like nine, 970 meg file. It's gonna double click on that. Now what's gonna happen is it's gonna mount it into a virtual drive letter. And in my case, it's gonna be G. So I click on that and it appears just like a normal CD or DVD that I've inserted into my drive. Just has a different different letter. Well, if I double click setup.exe, let's see if it starts up. Looks like it's doing something. And there we go. Microsoft Office is starting up, and then I could install it, repair. I could do the typical things I can do with Microsoft Office. So once again, Daemon Tools is a free utility. Just download it, install it. Then to mount an image, mount a disk image, all you have to do is go in the bottom right corner, right click, virtual devices, device, and then mount an image. Once you're done with the image, let's say I'm, I'm finished installing Microsoft Office, I just simply go back here, oh, cancel that out, go back to the bottom right, virtual devices, and unmount the image. And that's going to let me take that file and I could uh, delete that file if I'm done with it, or uh, you know, basically shut down a computer and you're done. All right, well, that was a quick and easy video of how to mount an image using the free Daemon Tools utility. Thanks for watching.